Senators last night overwhelmingly voted to kick out Kisi Deputy Governor Robert Monda from office. Monda was found guilty on all four counts that he faced on gross violation of the Constitution, abuse of office, majority whip Dr. Boni Halwale moved the motion to impeach the deputy governor, arguing that probability was high that he received the 800,000 shillings bribe. Migori Senator Eddie Okech, who seconded the motion, lamented how youths who are capable of working are being frustrated by being asked for bribes. Senators were angered by a family feud that played up in the bribery case. The borderline of philosophy of religion. I am not a very religious person, because I don't understand the Bible, but I believe in God. And on that philosophy, Mr. Speaker, many of you have heard that God made man, and man made money, and money made man mad. The madness you're seeing in this house today, Mr. Speaker, where a father can go against his own son, and a deputy governor can go against his brother is the, man, the madness that money has created in society. I move and I request the distinguished senator from Migori to second my motion for removal of uh, Robert Monda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't want to judge the governor on the basis of lies. But today's judgment is for the young people in this country who try to tarmac so much in this country to look for jobs. And because people in power want money from them, we must show as a house that we can stand united on a bipartisan manner and stop this menace of corruption that denies young people opportunities. And I wish to urge this house that the act of sending the deputy governor of Kisi home is not malice. It's about thinking of our future generation and how people in positions can be able to ensure that there is equal opportunities and equal chances for all. Every single time we have had an impeachment motion here, we always say, where is the proof? Where is the evidence? Where is the fact? It is not about the story. It is not about, it is about the proof and the evidence, Mr. Speaker. So when I looked at the transaction of 100,000 sent to a managing director so that they can give a job, Mr. Speaker, I was saddened because I knew that this is the sword that will bring down the deputy governor, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, tonight I will cast my vote with passion reason and without fear while knowing, Mr. Speaker, that the constitution that we enacted as the people of Kenya wants Kenyans of integrity, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, Mr. Speaker, I hope that the decision that this Senate is going to take will be a moment of reflection for two Kenyans. Mr. Robert Munda, the governor of Kisi, and Joseph Misati, the father of Dennis Misati. As you go back to the hills of Gusi Nation, take a reflection that family is more important than the positions that we hold in this republic. All right, and on that note, we're taking a quick break. When